tell me this isn't my natural hair. Hey y'all, it's Jayla, AKA Jay Shinali on the internet. Welcome back to my channel and make sure you hit that subscribe button to join us here. Today, I'm going to give you an updated tutorial on how to achieve these twists that I'm currently rocking. If you are subscribed to my channel, then you are no stranger to the hairstyle I'm currently rocking. I posted a video a couple years ago about these twists, whether you call them spring twists, mini twists, marley twists, kinky twists. I love them and I'm gonna show you how to achieve them. Let's get right into the video. So let me go ahead and show you exactly how to achieve these twists starting off with your hair. So each pack of this hair comes in three different bundles and each bundle comes with seven strands of hair in it. In order to achieve these exact twists, I take one of the pre-separated strands. I'm gonna split it into four different sections. First section, I'm gonna take this and split it directly down the middle. So we have two pieces and I'm gonna split each one of these pieces in half in order to get four different strands. And I'm going to use one of those four sections for my twist. Products that you'll need in order to twist your hair up, always use Shine and Jam to smooth out my roots and to really make sure that my hair is blending with the fake hair. This Twisting Souffle by Mayel Organics. And this is just to make sure my natural hair is moisturized while it's in this protective style. So I take a little bit of that Shining Jam for my roots. And I'm gonna slightly twist my natural hair just so it's easier for me to grab when I add the fake hair. And now take your fake hair, put our natural hair in the center, and we are going to attach this to our natural hair using a plait or using a braid. Crossing each strand over. You're gonna see me stop. I'm grabbing my natural hair and I'm gonna scoop the fake hair up a little bit just to get it as tight to my roots as I possibly can. And then I'm gonna continue braiding. I'm actually gonna braid down about five different times, at least to really make sure that the fake hair is attached to our real hair. I'm gonna stop braiding with my natural hair in the center, and I'm gonna split my natural hair into two sections. And this is where we start to twist. Now, if you watch any of my spring twist videos, you know the next thing I'm about to say is the most important part of achieving this hairstyle. You have to twist with your right hand going over your left hand. And let me explain why. So the braiding hair or the twisting hair has a texture. You have to twist right over left in order to make sure you're twisting according to the texture of the hair. If you were to twist the opposite way, so put your left hand over your right hand, you would essentially be going against the grain of the natural texture of this hair. And that's how you get twists that don't look as uniform. They don't really look like spring twists. So make sure you are twisting with your right hand, this is my right hand, going on top of my left hand. Now I am gonna add a little bit of that Mayel Twisting Souffle to make sure that my hair and especially my ends stay nice and moisturized. And I'm gonna keep twisting all the way down to the end of the hair. I've twisted down as much as I could, especially with these nails, y'all. So the ends are still a little loose, but that doesn't matter. Your twist will not unravel. That is a beautiful twist. As you can see, it's nice and uniform and it just looks so good y'all so this is what the twist would look like if you just let it loose i personally don't like the way these little straggly ends look so i'm just gonna take my twist and you see those straggly ends i'm just gonna cut right there just like so let me show you that process one more time and i'm gonna show you what would happen if you were to twist the wrong way so once again i'm taking one fourth of a strand and twisting my hair ever so slightly so it's easier to grip taking my fake hair and i'm going to attach the fake hair to my natural hair with a plait I'm going to split my natural hair into two. 
let me show you what would happen if you twisted the wrong way. Meaning you would put your left hand over your right hand. Let me show you what the twist would look like. Do you see what just happened? Do you see the difference between this twist and this twist? You could go for whatever look you really wanted to. You know, this is a look, this is a look. But if you want this look, follow my tips. So I'm gonna unravel this and watch this twist magically transform once you start to twist the right way. And before I even finish the twist, if I were to let it go, wow. Now, that's what the ends look like. I don't like those straggly ends, so I'm gonna cut that right off. And it looks a little long for me, so I'm gonna cut a little bit more off. And now we have our perfect, perfect Afro springy twist. And this is also a very perfect time for me to show you how to remove these twists, okay? So when you are ready to take down these twists, do not cut the hair. Our hair blends so well with this fake hair that you're gonna have a hard time figuring out where your hair ends. What I'm gonna do is come towards the top of the twist. I'm going to stick my fingernail or you can stick a rat tail comb, whatever you decide to use. I'm gonna stick it in the middle of the twist just like so to break it up. Guide my finger down as I start to unravel with my other hand. And this is how I take out these twists, y'all. Just like that, once you get towards the top, you can go ahead and unbraid the top. And then go ahead and remove the fake hair from your real hair. And again, it's a pretty quick method. It shouldn't take you too long to take down your entire head. So in order to achieve this style, I used this Outre Expression Twisted Up Hair. This is their springy afro twist in 16 inches and the color 1B. And I will go ahead and link this exact hair in my Amazon shop. So make sure you check the description box if you're looking to purchase this exact hair. So if you look at the hair, it actually comes in three different bundles. So what I ended up using for my hair is four bundles of hair, okay? So one, two, three that come in one pack, and then I use a third of a second pack. So all you need in order to achieve this style is two packs of hair. I know you're gonna ask this, I have 129 twists in my head. I'll also show you some clips of what my natural hair looks like so you can determine the thickness of my hair and compare it to yours. And whether you wanna have less twists on your head or you could even go for more twists, you know? That's completely up to you. It took me approximately seven hours to achieve this hairstyle. Just so you know, I started on freshly washed and conditioned hair. My hair was slightly damp when I started this process. And no, I don't think you have to blow dry in order to install these twists. Now, as far as parting my hair, I do like to part my sections, but the rest is pretty freestyle. A big question that I get is how long do these twists last? This is a style that has longevity, y'all. This is a style that won't look bad even after your roots start to grow out. I'm currently three weeks into wearing this hairstyle and I will be wearing it for at least one more week. So I'll go ahead and show you on Instagram and on TikTok what my hair looks like at the four week marker. Now me personally, I do not wear any protective style for longer than a month. I like to switch my hair up. If you wanted to stretch it, you could stretch it. Any other questions you have about this hairstyle please let me know in the comment section below I will be answering all of your questions because I want to make sure that this process is easy and seamless for y'all if you want to see how I style my hair make sure you follow me on TikTok at Jay Chanelli. thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it remember to hit that subscribe button also like this video so YouTube can share with other people and I'll see y'all in the next one bye